steps for statistical analysis. It contains uh, three, four steps. So, first two steps are okay, third onwards it will totally differentiate. <coughs> so, step number one is identify variables from the objective. and decide for univariate, bivariate or multivariate analysis. This is what precisely we were doing yesterday that if two objectives are there, two variables are there, is it a bivariate or it is a two univariate. So, we will decide about that. Now, you can write 1 b, if it is a univariate then the steps are over if it is a univariate then the steps are almost over there is nothing if bivariate etcetera then we will go ahead, but we can write simply step number 2. It contains 3 4 parts step number 2 first part is <coughs> identify d v s and i d v. <coughs> I have made plural if there are more than one dependent variable identify the dependent and independent variables you will do that. So, how actually to select what is dependent, what is independent, two, three methods are there. The first method is review of literature, go with the review of literature, you must have some sort of precedence to call this is dependent, this is independent. You may feel no, no, I wish to go like demand supply price, which one is truly dependent, very difficult to tell. So, you may decide no, I want to do this way. So, in that case, if review is not available, you can work with the expert opinion. <coughs> it might be possible you, there are some experts you consult to them and there can be any case where no review available and no expert available, nothing is there. You still want to do, the first question comes, how it come to your mind. So, there may be any real life case. any real life case scenario. So, you can just refer to say this happened in reliance company or Tata's are doing this or this is happening somewhere. So, there must be something you cannot say I feel this way, there is no I in the research, there is always some precedence, you must show it somewhere that say this actually depends on this and this way. Second point and their precedence is important, so we cannot take this first and that later. Second is go for review of literature and make a hypothesis. What is most likely answer? What sort of relation you expect? Because what we are doing research means there is some sort of data available, people said this will happen this way and you wish to check whether it is happening or not on the basis of respondent given by people or data collected or downloaded by you. Hypothesis should be preferably directional hypothesis specifying a relation, if not then you can use null hypothesis. C part, identify the measurement of DVs and IDVs. Identify the measurement of DV, IDV. So, if you look for so far, we have done only two things which I was stressing yesterday. Identify how many variables are there and their measurement, uh, that is it, nothing more than that. And the D part is refer to table number 1 or 2 or 3. Refer to table number 1, 2 or 3. So, we will come to that particular table. Now, third will be separate for separate things like if you reach simple regression, the third will be according to that. If you reach to multiple regression, if you reach to something else, so then the rest of the steps will follow. 
it means first two steps are common for all sort of analysis. The third step onwards the things will be different like if you reach table 2 logit regression then third st the steps for the third will be different. So, it is not possible to list down all the steps here actually that requires a 6 7 day workshop where we will discuss all in details. So, but we can just reach to which particular thing as of now if you understand my point was because it is a basic level workshop you just understand what exactly you are doing and if somebody come to know okay, I will apply the two way ANCOVA. Now, you can type on YouTube two way ANCOVA how to do they will tell you and there are the papers you know something about that you can write like them, but little bit we will cover. So, this is the steps. So, we will go for certain case studies today and uh, everywhere I will ask you to go through these steps. One thing that is important is in SPSS one response from one person go into one column always remember that one response not one question that is the common misunderstanding. So, third onwards I will ask you to write it later. So, two things we have covered from the morning we have made table number 3 and we have written steps.